Biden announces new program to curb illegal migration as he prepares for visit to border. In a rare White House address on the nation's southern border crisis, President Joe Biden on Thursday unveiled new policy that will accept 30,000 migrants a month from four nations, but also will crack down on those who fail to use the plan's legal pathways. Speaking in the Roosevelt Room of the White House, the president said the policy will grant humanitarian parole to eligible migrants from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela. It will work as part of a border strategy that incorporates an expanded use of Title 42 expulsions. Do not just show up at the border. Stay where you are and apply legally from there, Biden said, addressing potential migrants from those nations. Starting today, if you don't apply through the legal process you will not be eligible for this new parole program. The announcement was made as the Departments of Homeland Security and Justice released details of a plan to impose a new regulation, a version of a Trump-era policy often called the retransit ban. Under the new rule, migrants would be prohibited from applying for asylum in the United States unless they were first turned away for safe harbor by another country. It would also deem ineligible migrants who don't go through authorized ports of entry. DHS and DOJ will hear public comment on the proposed regulation before it goes into effect. Biden said the new details announced Thursday won't fix our entire immigration system but they can help us a good deal in better managing what is a difficult challenge. He added, until Congress passes the funds, a comprehensive immigration plan to fix the system completely, my administration is going to work to make things at the border better using the tools that we have. The president also confirmed plans for his first visit to the U.S.-Mexico border since taking office. Biden said he will visit El Paso, Texas, on Sunday to assess border enforcement operations and meet with local officials. The visit comes ahead of his trip to Mexico City for the Three Amigos summit with his Canadian and Mexican counterparts. The moves reflect the Biden administration's latest venture to combat a migration surge straining the U.S. immigration system. They also come as the president faces growing criticism from both Republicans and Democrats on border issues. The topic has intensified for the Biden administration in recent weeks as officials prepared for a court-ordered end to Title 42 limits, only to see the Supreme Court temporarily block lifting the policy. But regardless of the Trump-era policy's fate, set to be decided by the high court later this year, the southern border is facing a record-breaking migration influx likely to remain a key policy issue throughout Biden's presidency.